Hey there everybody, this is TransZ7272 coming back at you with another Transformers review. Tonight we're going to be looking at one of my favorite characters in the Transformers of all time. Besides Bumblebee. This is Ratchet, or as they call him, Autobot Ratchet. This is the Dark of the Moon uh, Cyberverse Ratchet, painted in the movie colors. And as we all know, uh, Ratchet really wasn't in the movie too much. He was in it in vehicle form for approximately what I can remember about 30 seconds. I'm not sure what happened with that, but that's that's the way it went. At least we know he didn't get he didn't kick it. So anyway, again, here's the packaging. It's a Hummer H2 mode. All his ranks and strengths and everything, skill being a 10. Anyway, this thing pulls apart just like the other one, in case you want to put them back in for collectability's sake. Instructions. He should pop right out. Oh. And there he goes. And there he is in his figure mode. Very cool. Very detailed, too, I must say. Great colors. Everything about it is fantastic. Okay, so let's go over some of the articulation on this guy. Um, as far as the head goes, the only articulation in the head is for transformation. So it goes up and down. The arms are on a swivel ball joint. These are on, these arms here. There's a swivel in the elbow, which is also a ball joint. There's also some articulation here due to transformation. That's kind of cool, you know. You can just whack stuff as it comes along. Same here. On the legs, right in here. There's some transformation, or there's some. I'm sorry, articulation there. Uh, no knee or foot articulation. But if you look very carefully, you can see how finely molded this is. Even the paint is really cool on this. Really cool figure. And this is what he looks like on the back. There's his tire and emergency stretcher thing. So transforming Wheeljack, or I'm sorry, not Wheeljack, Ratchet. Um, it's pretty simple. Basically, you want the first thing you want to do is push in the head like so. Push this up like this. Then you want to take the arms, fold them back like so. There's the first arm. The second one, turn this around. Push that in. Push that down, connect that. Make sure, with this, you got to make sure that everything's tabbed in right. And there you go. There he is in his little Hummer mode. Great detail. E4 on the back, on the side. There's some other writing here. I think it says Medic. I can't read it. It's awful small. Some of the younger people on here might be able to read it. Uh, again, with the feet, I wish they could have done something with the feet where you could kind of push them down. But he, other than that, he looks great. Very, very nice. Very cool. Anyway, um, if you look at some of your drugstores... Uh, secondary stores, you know, like TJ Maxx, you may find him. He's really worth it for the five bucks. I've been actually looking for him for quite some time because I passed on him originally because I had the one that came with the the Lunar set, which I think I've done a review on. I'm not sure. But this is the one I like the best. Anyway, this is Transy7272 saying, until next time.